Hello, this is a short review of this Parkside Bend saw. I bought it at a supermarket. This is not a paid, uh, paid promotion or anything like this. Uh, in the so the, the the main question is: Is it worth it? Yes, it's a it's a really uh, it's an offer you can't beat. It's it, it's really a the cheapest. Workable working saw that you can buy. I I believe on the market. I used to have uh, a flex saw. It's it is this one, and it's really a piece of shit. It uh, it costs three times as this saw. Uh, the main thing about this, this is uh, this is the primarily the hand saw. You can uh, see this by when the band is going in this direction uh, on any other normal saw the band is going towards this so the the parts won't won't be flimsy in the vise and this is primarily the the hand saw and usually on other saws you have a flat platen here so you can cut materials in upright position like a table saw or something like that and the main fault man i think it's it's a good good value for the for the price you really it's i, I don't know the other saws usually have this in uh, crunchy cast iron and it's really crappy and this one is it it's a uh, steel sheet that's cut and, and it it really doesn't go anywhere when you press it. Uh, the main thing with this saw and the other uh, cheaper saws is the the distance between the blade and the vise. That's the the minimum distance that you can cut on uh, on this saw, and it, it's uh, really annoying because uh, you really have to you really need some overhang, and you can cut pieces like this. Maybe it would spin around or something like that uh, but this is a very simple construction so you can uh, remove the device and remove the table saw and place it on some other flat surface and you can probably move this uh, cl uh, closer to the to the blade and maybe making a a uh, flat flat plate on this side so it could support the overhang and uh, in that way you can really you can uh, increase your cut width and uh, height and you don't need an overhang for the cutting you can cut thin slices of something uh, usually this pivot is under the vise on the professional saws and that is a really good good position for the when it rotates so you rotate it around this point and you can modify this uh, very simply to to cut that's that's my only only objection for for this saw and um, other than other than that it's it's really a nice nice and overall very very cheap saw it has better rigidity than the flex one it uh, it's become uh, uh, it's connected with this stator or molding so it's it's more rigid than the flex one the flex is a thin piece of aluminium and uh, it flexes uh, when you when you push down on it or when it works it just goes wibble wobble so this is about it this is my two cents about this so i will i won't be cutting anything the the range for cutting is 100 millimeters like this maybe you can squeeze in five millimeters more or something depending on the height and the height would be for rounded tops around 100 millimeters and if you have corners all all the way up for 100 then you probably would be cutting maybe 80 but by 100 millimeters or something like that that's that's pretty that's pretty good for for a cheap table saw so you can make constructions 
very cheaply. Okay, this is about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.